Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adam, this is Friday, and this means it's another Friday Sews. So I just wanted to say a big hello and welcome to all my regular subscribers, and hello if you're new here. If you haven't checked out my channel before, please go and have a look through my past videos. If you like this one, click like and click subscribe as well. I am going to quickly go through, I say I'm going to quickly go through, I don't think I am going to quickly go through anything today because... There's a lot that's been delivered this week. There's quite a lot of stuff that's happened this week. And there's also some secret surprises that came up this week as well. Um, so I'm going to start with what I've sewn this week. So I've not sewn that much this week. I've sewn some stuff that's sort of secret sewing that I can't really um, show at the moment. But I did sew one thing. And that was because my lovely friend Shauna, who is one of my lovely ladies that comes to my socials, um, she messaged me a little while ago and we'd both been talking about doing quilted trainers after seeing the gorgeous ones that Alyssa from Quilting Alyssa on Instagram has made um, from Tudor Pink Fabrics. If you haven't followed Alyssa on Instagram you like anything Tudor Pink or like anything to do with sewing, go and check her out. She is one of the most incredibly talented sewers you've ever seen. Um, that woman can literally do anything. She can sew, she can quilt, she can make shoes, she can make bags, she can make anything. Um, so we were talking about these shoes and the lovely Shauna said to me, I found somewhere to get hold of the kits, blah, blah, blah. So I ordered them, oh, must be over a week ago, two weeks ago maybe. Completely forgot I ordered them and then the soles turned up this week. So I downloaded the patterns um, from Sneaker Kit um, online and I got to put in together the actual shoes. So this is the outer part of one of them. So I've quilted it, I've put all the rivets in, I've made the tongue to go in the front of it as well. Um, and I just need to stitch that one together into the actual sole. But I have finished the other one which goes with it, which is this one here. So this is one of my lovely, lovely, lovely quilted trainers. And they are super, super comfy. Um, they've got the tongue in there and I've put the um, one of the Renaissance ribbons down the centre. Um, this is raw and then it's got the meteor. So this is meteor shower. So it's a double border print. So I've used the border for one shoe with the um, extra print here. And then the other shoe will be the other part of the fabric. So they will sort of get rid of the tongue for a minute. They'll sort of look, they'll match, but they'll be the different parts of that fabric so I'm going to put the rest of that one together later um the only disheartening thing is I ordered the wrong size sole so these are what I wanted them to be but they don't fit me so they are going to go on my online store at some point possibly over the weekend if not I'm going to pop a post up on Instagram when they are finished and if you are a size 42 or a small size 42, they will be a perfect fit for you. Um, and they will also have slightly different laces because I ordered some laces and they sent ones that were about this long and would only go through two of the loops. So at the moment, it's just got some tool tape in it, but I'm gonna get black laces for them um, and they will go in my store. They've got my Adam Sews labels on the back of them, the um, lovely labels from Mari from Mari Sews um, and from Inspired Leather Co, her company. And I've just got word that she's finished me another batch of labels and I cannot even begin to explain how exciting they are. She's got some of the most incredible levers in for this next batch of labels that I'm getting. Um, and I can't thank her enough because I say to her, I need more labels, I need this many, just do your thing. And she comes back with the most epic designs you've ever seen. Um, so yeah, that's what I've signed this week, pretty much, I think. I'm just going to quickly scan around the room and I don't think I have said anything else. Hey. So as most of you know, and for those lovely people that messaged me last week and left me birthday comments, it was my birthday last Sunday. Um, obviously, my Friday says went out Friday. I had a brilliant birthday. I had my parents come down for breakfast on the Sunday. And then we just spent most of the day mooching around, chilling out and just doing what I wanted to do, really, which was perfect for me. Um, so I would just like to say a big thank you as well to the couple of people that left me um, Kofi's in my Kofi account last week for my birthday. That's really appreciated. Um, and I also, while we're talking about birthdays, I want to say a massive happy, happy birthday to the one and only Laurie Ann. Um, she is one of the most 
amazing people you over me. She is one of the kindest people you over me. And your ears may have been burning today, Laurieann, because we were talking about you when me and my lovely friend Carol from So Carol met up this morning with her lovely husband Chris, and we went to. Oh, we might have been to Beyond the Pink Door. Um, the lovely Andrea we got to meet this morning at Beyond the Pink Door. I'll pop a picture in here of us together. We did get a photo for once in my life. I actually tried to be a vlogger and actually get some images. Thanks to Carol for reminding us. Um, so Andrea gave us one of her lovely Pink Door mugs, which I'm really happy about because I felt super FOMO about um, getting super FOMO about getting one of these so i'm really happy that i got one um so thank you andrea um and in my lovely beyond the pink door uh pink bag i have got i was actually very well behaved so i got myself one of the um prim point turners because i've got one of the um hair markers which you can use for turning but it's a little bit sharp i'm just trying to there it is. So that's the Heron marker. So you can use this end for turning and it does work really well for tiny little corners. But I wanted one with a sort of blunter point um, because I want to do some of the Laurie Holt applique. Um, and I need this to turn the applique when you stitch it onto the interfacing. So yeah, grab that. Really happy with that. Um, and I got a the last of a bolt of linen, which is this beautiful linen here, which I am going to make hubby a merchant and mills woven t-shirt from because it's really really nice quality linen um so that needs to go in at the pre-wash and as jen would say huh. um so the other one i got was this beautiful sort of petrol colored um linen i think this one may be i think this one may be a linen viscose i'm not 100 percent sure um, if I can find it on the Beyond the Pink Door website, I will link it down below. Um, but this one, I think, is 100% linen, which is going to be beautiful. It's a um, woven tee because it will keep hubby very cool. This one is going to be the wraparound trousers from Anna Ring Strand, which went out of her newsletter um, as a free pattern. And it's a really cool crossover, sort of flies with a tie around the waist. Um, yes, I'm really excited about those. That was all I got from Andrea. Um and just to let you know, if anyone's ever in the south of England and they want to pop in on a Thursday or Friday when Andrea opens, uh, Andrea opens, sorry, not Andrea, Andrea, um, go in and see her. She is so nice. I mean, as if we didn't already know that from when we see her on lives and different things, but she's literally just how she is in real life. And she's just such a kind, warm, welcoming person. And I had a lovely morning chatting with her and Carol and Chris and yeah. That was what happened this morning so because as i was saying because it was my birthday i don't want to keep going on about it okay oh, i won't mention it anymore but i had some i had some um uh, some money that was given to me to buy myself something for my birthday from my parents and from hubby so i ordered some stuff from oak apple oak apple haberdashery which is owned by the lovely ellie and she always puts together the most beautifully packaged parcels um this one says no pizza in here just lovely sewing goods which i thought was hilarious um when i opened it earlier and i done so i didn't contrary to belief i didn't actually buy any tudor from her i bought some more laurie holt because i wanted some laurie holt to make a quilt and in particular it is this quilt which is the quilted witch um, so I wanted some of the Laurie Holt fabrics just for various parts of this. I've already got some, um, but I wanted to make this. This was a present from Hubby. Um, so I ordered this um, from Hubby and I ordered this lovely Laurie Holt um, magnetic pin cushion and a pack of her pretty pins because these are little applique pins and they're a really good size. And how genius is this pin cushion, okay? It holds them all upright. So all you have to do is just pick them out and you don't get stabbed by the others that are on there, like my other silly magnetic pincushion, that they all seem to stand up the opposite way around, like a um, hedgehog, and they just prick you to pieces every time you go and get a pin. Whereas these won't do it. Very happy. Um, so yeah, they are those. And then from Ellie, I got these beautiful Laurie Holt um, fat quarters, which I'm gonna use to make the quilt. So there's loads of different beautiful colors um and uh, this one and of course it wouldn't be laurie holt without getting a mustardy sort of color because she always does that sort of color and i thought the mustard 
here would go really well for the pumpkins and some of the other orange little parts here so yeah i thought i would grab some i think i got half meters actually yeah they're all half meters they're not fat quarters because ellie was having a secret sale last weekend on her website um and if you're not if you like laurie hull and tulip pink and if you just like fabric basically um, and you like supporting small businesses, please go and follow Ellie on um, YouTube. She's got some really great content on there where she prepares, uh, she always films when she prepares for a show and she always prepares her, uh, she always um, puts videos up of her building her stand at shows and different things like that. And she's a one woman band. She does such a great job with getting orders out um, and they're always packaged absolutely immaculately. And yeah. She's one of the very few Laurie Holt suppliers in the UK. And, you know, if you don't know her, check her out on Instagram, check her out on YouTube because her videos are great fun watching her set up for the shows and different things. And she does this thing with, like, Trump... I think she's got top Trump cards of all of the different services, uh, motorway services in the UK. So when she goes to different shows, she tries to check off her um, different top Trump cards, which is always quite fun to follow. So that was from Ellie at OCAP or Haberdashery. And then... One of my suppliers um, had some Laurie Holt really, really discounted. So I managed to get hold of... Um, oh, the other thing that I got <laughs> while I was ordering the Quilted Witch um, pattern and different things was a little um, hummingbird needle threader um, for when I'm threading my featherweight. And it's also on the back of its neck here. I don't know whether you can see that. It's got a little thread trimmer as well. So it doubles up as a thread trimmer and needle threader. And these are a lot more hard wearing. And they're not mega expensive. They're a couple of pounds and they're just a lot more, they're just a lot more substantial than your average sort of one that you get in a Christmas cracker that falls apart after you've used it twice. Um, yeah, so I got that. Then, oh my goodness, I can't believe how much stuff has turned up this week. It's really not good because I'm supposed to be de-stashing. Um, the tartan reel we'll move on to. No, 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 no. We'll go back to what I was saying about Laurie Holt. So the other thing that came this week from Laurie Holt was a big old bolt of one of her backing fabrics. So as I say, it was reduced really, really reasonably priced. Um, so I got this from my my Chris, uh, Christmas present, birthday present from my parents. So I ordered a whole bolt of Laurie Holt backing and it's got these beautiful little sort of soft pink flowers on it it doesn't actually sh come up on camera very well either on here or on the photos on the website it actually looks a bit murky and it's actually really really nice and crisp and really delicate when you actually see it in real life and i'm going to use this for all my background for this pattern here so i thought it would work quite well and i'm going to need quite a lot of it so i thought well do you know what i'm going to use it low volume can never have enough um yeah so that was that and then I'm looking here now thinking, I'm sure there's... Oh, I did do something else this week as well. So Tuesday, I went to the Alice Caroline pop-up shop with my lovely, 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 beautiful friend, Catherine. I'll put a picture in here. So we got to meet Alice Caroline. Um, I got her 100 quilt block book and I got it signed for hubby as a little gift because he's been wanting to make that quilt for a while um, so it's downstairs and it's signed to him from Alice Caroline, um, which she was very happy about. And I saw Catherine and she gave me these beautiful labels that say, wear me with pride and handmade with pride on the other side. And these are from the Cozy Club Handmade, the people that I got my llama ones from last week. So yes, what did I get from Alice Caroline? I was very well behaved, I have, you know. I got a pack of... No, that's a lie. I got two packs of the sample scraps um, of Tanner Lawn because, because, what have I done with them, Dobby? Where's the quilt blocks gone? They are over here. Sorry, I won't be a sec. I'll keep talking so I don't bore you, even if I haven't bored you already. Um, I'm making a whole load of these. So I've got loads made up now. And these are all made from Liberty Tanner Lawn scraps. So this big bumper amount of them here will make up a hell of a lot of these um so yeah i got two packs of those because i want to make some more of these and this is all laurie holt low volume fabric in the background as well so i've got more on that bolt that i can use to make more of the lawn and laurie lawn and laurie quilt um so yeah 
And I got a metre of this beautiful tanner lawn because I want to make another one of these. And if you don't know, this is the Gosling shirt by So So Deaf, which is a Mimi G collaboration, which you can download as a PDF. And if you are going to download it as a PDF, make sure you look on different sites because one of them is double the price to the other download. Yeah, brilliant shirt. Love it. So wearable. And the other thing that turned up this week, and the other thing that turned up this, I sound like I'm on Blue Peter or something, the Tartan Reel. Now, I don't know if they've got anything left, but if they have, go and have a look. Um, she is closing down, unfortunately. Um, but on the flip side to that, she's got a mega sale on. So I grabbed some out of, sort of out of print, older stock of Tula because it was down to four pounds a metre. Um, and I got some of this beautiful um, Curiouser and Curiouser one from the Alice in Wonderland range. So yeah, I think that was all that turned up this week. But I've been going for 16 minutes already and I'm talking waffle now. Um, so yeah, I had a fabulous day with um, the lovely Catherine on Tuesday at the Alice Caroline tour. And I'm hoping that she'll do another one at some point soon because it was a great day out. And yeah, I think that's it really. I'm going to go now because I've been waffling on for 16 minutes. And I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you get some sewing done. And I will see you all soon for another chatty vlog. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.